Today we're going to continue with partial quotients division, but now we're going to have three and four digit dividends, the number we're dividing by. Nothing will change, it will just take us a little bit longer to find our answers. So let's take a look at this word problem. Lillian needs to buy 112 bottles of water for the school party. The bottles come in packs of four. How many packs should she buy? Okay, so we're doing 112 bottles divided up into packs of four. How many packs should she buy? Just like earlier in the week, I'm going to come up with an estimate. 112, hmm, that's close to 100. I can do 100 divided by four. Think about what that might be. Think about how many quarters are in a dollar. Four, right? So 100 divided by four is 25. There's my estimate. So now I'm going to set up my partial quotients division. 112 divided by 4. You can do this on a piece of paper with me. So I'm going to start by saying, how many times can 4 go into 1, or 1 divided by 4? Well, 4 can't go into 1 because 1 is less than 4. So let's underline the next digit and do 11 divided by 4. 4 times 1 is 4. We're going to write our multiples just like we did earlier in the week. 4 times 2 is 8. We can keep going here. 4 times 3 is 12. Okay, that's too big because I'm doing 11 divided by 4. So I'm going to go back to this. 4 times 2 is 8. That means 4 can go into 11 two times. Put my 2 out here. Now 2 times 4 is 8. But I need to think, should I write it under the first one or the second one? I know I'm not writing it under the 2 because the 2 is an underline. Well, if I was going to do 11 minus 8 normally, I would put it under this 1. So I'm going to put it right here. Then I have this empty space. Whatever I do to the inside, I do to the outside as well. So now I will subtract. 2 minus 0 is 2. 1 minus 8, I can't do, so I'm going to do 11 minus 8, which is 3. 32 is bigger than 4, so I have to keep dividing. Okay, next part. 3 divided by 4. 3 is less than 4, can't do it. Underline the 2 to make it 32 divided by 4. I know that 4 times 5 is 20. Let's keep writing our multiples. Again, pause the video. If you'd like to try this on your own, or if I'm going too fast, four, oops, 4 times 7 is 28. I'm trying to get to 32. So maybe 4 times 8 is, yep, 32. So 32 divided by 4 is 8. Multiply 8 times 4 is 32. Next part, subtract. 32 minus 32 is 0. Because 0 is less than 4, I'm done dividing. Next week, we'll talk about what we do if that number isn't 0. But for today, it is. So my last step is to add up the parts on the outside. 20 plus 8 is 28, which tells me 112 divided by 4 is 28. She should buy 28 packs of water, close to my estimate of 25, so it's probably correct. Let's take a look here at this problem. Seven fourth grade classes at CVIS raise a total of $1,925 for a field trip. If each class raised the same amount, how much money did each class raise? Okay, so I have $1,925 divided into seven classes, and I need to think about how much money did each of those classes raise. So now I have a four-digit dividend. Okay, I have to estimate just like I've done before. I have 1,925. Maybe I'll make that be 2,000. Seven, maybe I'll round it up to 10. 2,000 divided by 10. We'll think what is 20 divided by 10. 20 divided by 10 is two. I have two zeros here. No zeros left over here, so I'm gonna add those two. My answer is about $200 for each class. Let's divide 
Again, write this down on a piece of paper or a whiteboard if you have one. Pause the video if you need to to get yourself set up. Okay. 1,925 divided by 7. I'm going to start with 1. Do this part first. 1 divided by 7. Mm, can't do it because 1 is less than 7. 19 divided by 7 I can do though. 7 times 1, write your multiples. 7 times 2 is, yep, you're right, 14. 7 times 3 is what? 21. That's too big, so let's go back to the 7 times 2. So 19 divided by 7 is 2. I'm going to put that out here on the side. 2 times 7 is 14. If I was doing 19 minus 14, I'd write it so that the 1's digit is underneath the 9 and the 10's digit is underneath the 1. So I'm going to do that here. Now I have two zeros that I have to add for two placeholders. And whatever I do to the inside, I do to the outside. What do, we, what do you think I do next? That's right, I subtract. 5 minus 0, 5. 2 minus 0, 2. 9 minus 4, 5. 1 minus 1 is 0. I'm left with 525, which is much bigger than 7. So I have to keep dividing. Let's start with 5 divided by 7. 5 is less than 7. That won't work. So how about 52 divided by 7? I need to keep going with my multiples. I know that 7 times 7, maybe you know this one, is 49, which means 7 times 8 is 7 more than that, or 56, too big. Let's go back to 7 times 7. So 7 can go into 52 7 times. 7 times 7 is 49. Since I've underlined the 52, that's where I write my 49. I don't write anything under this 5 because it's not underlined. What I do put is a 0 for my placeholder. Whatever I do to the inside, do to the outside. Next step is what? That's right, we subtract. I get 5. Can't do 2 minus 9. I've got to borrow. 12 minus 9, 3. 4 minus 4 is 0. I'm left with 35, which is still bigger than 7, so I have to divide one more time. Oh, I don't have a 35 in here. I skipped that. But I could go back to doing my 7 times 4, which I know would be 28. 7 times 5 is, aha, 35. Put my 5 on the outside here. 5 times 7 is 35. Subtract, I'm left with 0. 0 is less than 7, so I am done dividing. Last step is to add up these parts on the outside. 200 plus 70 plus 5. My answer is 275. So if I go back up here, how much money did each class raise? They raised about $275, which is fairly close to my answer of 200, so it's probably correct. Boys and girls, the next thing that we're going to be doing is working on journal pages 206 and 207. If you don't have them, you can print them out or get some paper and pencil. That's what we'll be doing next.